Dr. Rackett, intermediate student with Lambda, will need picturing programs for some image tools, and I want to produce a Koch curve. There's what Koch 0 looks like. Koch 1 is just four copies of Koch 0 pushed together. Here's the definition. Let's figure out how it works by looking at small examples. Koch 0. Here's how you figure it out. Look at the body of the definition. Replace all the Ds by zeros. It's conditioned with two question-answer pairs. Look at the first question. It asks, is zero equal to zero? Of course it is. So it answers with a line that's ten dots along and black. There's that line. Koch 1 is built up from what you know about Koch 0. Look at the definition. Replace all the Ds by 1. And now look at those question-answer pairs. The first one asks, is 1 equal to 0? Of course not. So skip that and move on to the else. The else says, put four copies of Koch, Koch of 1 minus 1, or 0. What does that look like? That's that short line over there. So four short lines. The first one not rotated at all. Second one rotated 60 degrees counterclockwise. The third one 60 degrees clockwise. And the fourth one not rotated at all. That's what it produces. Koch 2. Well, it's built up from what we already know. Look at the definition of the function. Replace all the d's by 2 now. The first question says, is 2 equal to 0? Of course not. So we move along to the else, which says, put 4 copies of Koch. Well, Koch of 2 minus 1, Koch 1. What's that look like? There's Koch 1. So we're going to put four of those bumpy things beside each other. First one, not rotated at all. Second one, rotated backwards. The third one, rotated forwards. And the fourth one, not rotated at all. Here's what we get. Koch 2. Koch 3. What's it going to look like? Here's how to understand it. Look at the body of the function, replace all the d's by 3. The first question answer pair asks, is 3 equal to 0? No way. So move on to the else. The else says, put beside each other 4 copies of Koch. Well, 3 minus 1 is 2. Koch 2, that's what it looks like. So we're going to put Koch 2's. The first one, not rotated. The second and third rotated in a wiggly way, and the fourth one not rotated at all. There's Koch 2, or Koch 3, rather. Koch 4, well, we need a bit more room, so I hit Control D. There's Koch 4 in all its glory. Now there's a problem with this definition. Look at the number of times I had to retype exactly the same thing, Koch D minus 1. That's a source of both tedium and possible errors. So next time we'll fix that in a new implementation called Koch2.